think one of the things that that uh, is going to give a, continue to give us a little bit of the edge maybe over some of the people that's breeding to them is because of the way we raise them. We've got uh, 1,470, I don't know what it is, we just got through yeah. buying 30 some more acres of spring. Well, I mean, I had the facilities here. We keep our pastures out here balanced. I have the University of Kentucky come out every spring. They go to every pasture, they do soil analysis, and they say you need potassium in this one, you need more lime in that, and whatever it needs and we go get the phosphate or whatever it is and spread it on there and, and, and put it on. Yeah. So the, we were thinking that we would get a good nutritious balance out here for raising these horses. And uh, that's one reason why they stay sound. Now I've got the, the, the beginning of Jessamine Creek. I've got the spring where it comes right out of the ground so I can control the water. And, uh, that's another thing that we think is very good here on our farm is the water because we exterminator was foaled here, uh, won the Derby in 1918. Uh, we got a Greyhound, the greatest trotter of all time, was raised right here on this farm. There is no city water on this farm at all except in the houses that my employees and I live in. We drink the city water. None of the horses drink any city water. So that's why Kentucky, in my opinion, is one of the as the horse capital of the world.